Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are here in Alaska for the winter. So today's adventure, we're going to be making and sleeping in a snow cave. In negative temperatures, might I add. <laughs> All so long for the adventure. Let's go. So these are the ideal tools. We just grabbed a shovel, a garden hoe, and a snow shovel. We got this small tactical shovel. I'm definitely not worried about being cold tonight. Um, I've done these before and this is just kind of the point of the snow cave is to stay warm. Basically just planning on wearing a t-shirt and shorts and uh, that should be warm enough. I came prepared. First of all, we both have all of our winter clothes, pants, gloves, jackets. I made sure we have two sleeping bags each, um, extra blankets, and I even brought our entire stash of hot pockets. Um, that's not what those are called. Oh. Little hotty hand warmers. <laughs> we're off like a herd of turtles. <laughs> My one worry tonight is that we're going to get suffocated and die in the snow cave. Definitely irrational, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I've done like 20 of these and I haven't died yet, so we should be good. I saw online that you can straight up die from sleeping in a snow cave. Um, I'm down to be adventurous and sleep in a snow cave. I do not want to die tonight. So I guess like if your walls aren't packed down enough or whatever, literally the cave can smash in and it's like a wall of cement hitting you and you can't move and you're pinned and you suffocate and die. So. Um, that's horrific. I'm a little worried about that. So we're going to have Logan walk or roll over the top of the snow cave after we built it to make sure it won't be caving in and murdering us in the night. So. Helene has never done a snow cave before. So for the first time, I think she's got this. I think it is a bit more work than, uh, than she's expecting, but she'll do great. It's a little different than I expected. Um, First off, it's kind of a one-man job for the whole beginning part. Only one person can be in this little tunnel entryway, and after a while, you're like crammed in there. You have this horrible little shovel that you're jamming up trying to get the snow, which is falling all over you, and then you're trying to scoop it past you and throw it outside so the other person who's standing there with nothing to do can scoop it up and throw it away. And then when you worm your way out, you come out and you look down and you realize you are just like an actual human snowman covered in snow. So I didn't love being the one crammed in the claustrophobic tunnel. Um, so Logan did that most of the time. What's up? So most of the time my job was to shovel the extra snow that got tossed out and uh, to get like snow periodically thrown in my face as I check to see how he's doing. <laughs> All right, it's starting to get a little dark. The sun sets at 5.30 now here in Alaska. So we're gonna turn on some headlights from our car real quick. Alright guys, here is the moment of truth. Will our snow cave hold? Here we have Logan greatly resembling a bear in his all brown Carhartt suit. <laughs> testing the roof. And we'll see what the verdict is. Fingers crossed. Alright, we're good to move in. Woo! Okay, sweet! The snow cave is all finished and all we got to do is put all of our, you know, the tarp and the sleeping bags in and get all set up. Not my best work, but it'll do the job. We're going to pop up an image right here. 
of what an ideal snow cave should look like. Um, a couple things we didn't do, if you notice, they show that the entrance of the snow cave should be significantly lower than where you're actually sleeping. That's because warm air rises, cool air stays low, so that way you stay significantly warmer. Since we didn't do this, we're just gonna barricade the entrance of our snow cave to not let that cold air in. We did add a vent hole, and the other thing that's really important is that you make sure you're in an area that the snow is like compressed and compact. So that's either like where a snow drift is compacting the snow or where we're doing it. It's where the snow plow pushes up the snow every time it plows and like compresses and compacts the snow to be very hard and sturdy. That's what will hopefully keep it from caving in and killing us tonight. All right, we're gonna go warm up in the cave. All right, so we're all situated. We got our sleeping bag and we are ready to go. We didn't make it especially tall. Like my hand can touch, oh, it's like not bad. But if I try to sit up, for example, my my head is right there. I like, and I'm not sitting up all the way. I'm just barely sitting up, so. Setting up the sleeping bags was kind of hard. <laughs> Snow likes to fall down on us a little bit, but I mean, we could have built it a little bit taller, but this will make it warmer. No you can see we're really roughing it. <laughs> Somehow we've seen all of the Avenger movies except this one. If you're a true fan, name the movie. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to go to bed. See you in the morning. Good night. Hey, Logan. Yeah? I'm really, really warm. Oh my goodness. Good morning. We made it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Were you cold last night, baby? No, it was perfect. But we did notice that part of the cave was a little bit see-through. That's our vent, so that makes sense. But if you look at the snow here versus the snow here, a lot of light is coming through. So, the warmest snow cave, but... But definitely warm enough. I mean, it's like negative eight this morning and we were fine. Okay, we're recording this to show you how much a struggle it is to put all your layers back on with a three foot ceiling. Yeah, imagine taking Kelly's fat winter coat off of her in the middle of the night. <laughs> Inside the sleeping bag too. Alright, so last night was super nice, snow cave stayed pretty warm. We were plenty warm last night. I ended up layering down all my layers besides just like a t-shirt and my leggings. Even we ended up only sleeping in one sleeping bag, not the two I brought. <laughs> pretty nice. The only problem was when we woke up, it was still negative eight and it was freezing cold. When we came out this morning, it was still negative eight. I think the high today is one degree. So once we went out, we made breakfast. We were kind of chilling, playing in the snow. We froze our butts off. We are it freezing right now. <laughs> we got our truck warmed up, and so we're just gonna go thaw out in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, like it. Let us know if you want to see more. And until then, we're gonna be warming All up. Right. <laughs>